na lang ako na iyak iyak na iyak kasi nga alam ko na ganun ang mangyayari. Sabi niya, they need to intubate me, don't worry. Sabi niya, I just need to take some rest. And uh, I promise you, I will come back. Makikita mo siya na wala, tulog lang. Ang daming machine na kakabit. Ano mo yung takot na takot ka kasi hindi mo alam kung magigising pa ba. Naging boyfriend ko siya and then from that time, 1995 until 2001, nagpakasal kami, uh, civil marriage. I was in Singapore when he went to to UK, that was May 2001. 2002, nung mag-move ako sa kanyang uh, pinagtatrabahuhan, natanggap din ako doon as a staff nurse. Same, ano, same department in accident emergency. January 2003 ang aming church wedding. Si Franco as a dad, very hands-on siya. Kahit nung mga baby pa sila, he's a family man. Focus talaga siya sa family. Third week of April. So, nag-work niya ang anak ko, 18th of April. Happy birthday to you! Yay! On that night, nag-develop na siya ng temperature. So, nag-fever siya. Meron siyang mild cough. So, sabi niya, i-rest ko lang ito. Siguro magiging okay na. So, Tuesday. So, it went 21st of April, din nalang ko siya sa ANE to be checked. So, he had all the bloods, he had x-ray, he was examined by the doctor and everything came back as normal. So, the consultant was happy to discharge him home kasi sabi naman nila, wala naman nga. On that day pala, that's gonna be our, my worst nightmare. Kasi, noong chinek ko siya to check the oxygen level, and that time, it was 67% only, and the normal should have been like 96 to 100% for a normal pe- uh, person. And then I check it on mine, mine is 99. So sabi ko sa mga anak ko, I'm going to take your dad to the hospital, he's, he's really unwell. Well, I was driving, he was at the back seat. Nakikita ko siya sa lamin. Parang nag-ano siya, nag-grayish color. Yung kanyang lips, nag-blue-blue. So, pagka-park ko, bumaba na siya, kinuha. Tapos hindi naman ako makalabas ng car. Kasi, kumbaga, parang parang na-fro, na-freeze na ako doon sa sakyan. Kasi alam ko na masama talaga. Masama talaga ang lagay niya. So they said na they started him on CPAP. Uh, so after 30 to 40 minutes, hindi siya nag-work. Kinausap daw nila si Franco. Sabi, ano, he needs intubation. They need to put him into sleep. Uh, sabi naman ng asawa ko, pakitawagan si Grace, tawagin para pumasok doon at sabihin sa akin kung okay lang daw ba na ma-intubate siya. Sabi niya, they need to intubate me. Don't worry. I just need to take some rest. And uh, I promise you, I will come back. Sabi ko sa kanya, okay. Ay, la, ay siya naman, pag may promise talaga, ginagawa niya talaga yun. 
until nga ano until dumating na yung mga incubation team sabi nila no kasama ko kailangan din lumabas kasi kailangan na siyang ma-incubate kasi kumbaga we're buying time kasi sometimes they ended up having cardiac arrest so sabi ko lang ano I will hold on to your promise as lumabas na kami siguro mga 5-10 minutes ayun tulong na siya <laughs> alam mo yung takot na takot ka kasi hindi mo alam kung magigising pa ba ang pinakamahirap yung 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 sabihin mo sa mga bata on that night na umuwi ako na your dad is ano has got into coma Nagiyak ako nung sinasabi ko sa kanila na tulog na ang tatay niyo. Kasi nga, ano, hirap-hirap siya huminga. So, yung 10 minutes na yun is very precious talaga. Hinahawakan ko yung kamay niya. Pasabi ko sa kanya that I'm here and I'm holding on to your promise na you will come back. So, we will always be here. Yung mga bata at everyone in the hospital is paying for you. kailangan pa siyang matransfer sa ibang hospital para lang doon. At pag nag-ECMO, kumbaga, yun na yung last resort ng katawan mo para mabuhay. Sabi ko, okay, so he is for transfer. That will be the, that will be the hardest part kasi hindi, hindi ko na siya makikita. Kung sa amin kasi nahirapan akong dalawin siya. Nung nalipat siya after a week sa Brompton, sabi ko sa anak ko, sabi ko, Francis, I really need to see your dad. Doon sa opposite the hospital is may isang small park. Tinext ko yung, yung kakilala ko na sabi ko, saan ba dito yung ITU? Sabi na level 3 daw. O, di, sa level 3 ako nang concentrate. Sabi ko, sana ano, sana ma-feel mo na nandito ako at, at forever naman kami nandito para sa iyo. Ay, nag-stay lang ako ng so, mga 2 to 3 hours. Kung nakausap ko lang hospital, sabi ko, uh, I'm still holding on to your words that, that you will come back. Pag nag-video call kami, kinakausap namin na ano, na we are just here, naantay ka namin umuwi, just uh, be strong. Nung nagising siya, nandun doon ako. Sabi ko, ano, kala ko hindi ka na magigising. Umiiyak din siya noon. Nagkahawak yung kamay namin. And I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Yung pinaka-happiest moment ko nung nagising ako. Nung nakita ko si Grace. Masaya-masaya ako that time. Siguro nga, narinig niya lahat ng mga sinasabi namin every time. We have a successive share you can see. Well done. Mr. Tapko, and best of luck. See you again soon. Finally out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, 
Mahirap, mahirap yung naging rehab. Just keep on fighting. Like kung binubulong sa kanya, just keep on fighting, keep on fighting. Sabi ko gusto ko makita yung, yung family ko. Kaya every day may goal ako. Thank God, sabi ko gumanda naman yung pakiramdam ko. Gumanda yung aking paglalakad. So he was wheeled up, he was on a wheelchair, they wheeled him out of the ward. And then suddenly, pagkita mo ang daming tao doon sa level 7, andun lahat ng mga, yung mga managers na kilala siya, na yung mga nakikita ko lang sa mukha, eh kilala pala siya, nandun doon sila lahat. So level 5 and then level 3, andun din yung mga IT nurses, naka-line up. They were all crying, clapping, waving at him, shouting, screaming uh, for joy. This time it's different. It's, it's crying for joy na. Until sa makalating na kami sa ANE, so doon pala sa corridor papunta ng ANE, you, you wouldn't imagine kung gaano kadaming tao. So it was really emotional na ituwan-tuwa sila na nakita ang asawa ko up and about. Very heartful thanks sa lakan ng lahat, lalong na nakala kay Lord. Papasalamat ako, binigyan ako ng bagong buhay. At binigyan niya ako ng chance na mapakita ko ulit yung promise ko, na matupad ko yung promise ko kay Grace. Life goes on. Mas pinapakita ko yung pagmamahal ko sa kanila, sa family ko, kay Grace, sa mga anak ko. Napakahalaga sa akin yung lahat ng ginawa ni Grace sa pamilya, sa akin. Yung pagmamahal, maraming maraming salamat. And I love you for that. Definitely. Love conquers all. Whatever mountains, whatever highs, ups, downs, lahat. Kailangan nating maniwala sa taas na kahit anong problema makakaya natin. Yeah.